Yep. Speaking of uh, historical things, uh, on this date, or actually tomorrow's date, 20 years ago, we had a big snowstorm uh, in the Triad. 10 inches of snow Ooh. fell in Greensboro. Raleigh had 20 inches. Here's the thing. The forecast that day was for flurries and for light snow. Uh -oh. Somebody got it wrong. Well, the, the models did not handle the storm really well. Ugh. That uh, mishap led to some big time research and snowstorms that led to big improvements in oh, forecasting to this day. It so was necessary. There was a silver lining that came out of it, but I just uh, saw that uh, the National Weather Service in Raleigh tweeted that out a little bit a little ago. I did some research on my own the last few minutes, and yeah, uh, we have a little bit of wintry weather in our forecast, a wee bit, uh, mostly in our mountain communities early on today. We're going to continue to see at least a possibility for uh, some wintry mix in the mountains where we have a winter weather advisory until one o'clock today. Already we're starting to see some signs of improvement. Temperatures cooled down near freezing. The numbers are starting to come back up even in the high country. Still though, some slippery travel may be a possibility. We're talking about secondary roads, bridges and overpasses, and places where you should watch your step. Uh, sidewalks and steps, driveways uh, and decks uh, have a tendency to get a little more slippery first. Those are the areas. As far as icing is concerned, a little glazing may happen in the trees. I don't think it's enough to bring down trees or cause power outages and a trace amount of snow or sleet uh, is a possibility in those areas too. In the mountains specifically, a little freezing rain mixing with sleet and rain, even a wet snowflake is a possibility. I don't see any accumulation coming out of this either. Then that changes all terrain. If it doesn't by uh, mid morning, it certainly will by late morning. And then uh, steady rain farther west begins to taper off and may include a few thunderstorms before all this is over from potential for wintry to warm temperatures in the afternoon. This is a very weird storm that's moving into our area. Wind concerns uh, north and west as well uh, for gusts up to 45 miles per hour. I've superimposed temperatures on top of the radar and you can see we're well above freezing and there's enough water in the air to almost saturate the air. So I think the floor on our temperatures today, even if they cool a bit more, is like 34 degrees. It's not cold enough to cause any issues. Uh, periods of rain through the morning can see temperatures in Sparta down to 33, perhaps a little ice mixing in. Don't be shocked in the tried if you see a few sleet pellets mixing in with the rain. When it does get a little heavier, I don't anticipate it's going to be a big problem because our dew points are running so high and you can't really cool the air temperature down below the dew point unless you dry the air out. That's obviously not going to happen in the rain. So periods of rain coming in. The chilly air is exiting very quickly. We'll first wait for a a warm front to lift in that should boost our numbers and might bring our high temperature in the evening and it might be in the 50s even though we'll spend most of the day in the 30s and 40s the cold front then comes in after that and that's going to bring our rain chances uh, down dramatically sometime after midnight so periods of rain possible I think this model warms us up too much but you can see the steady nature of the rain coming through including the potential for some evening thunderstorms coming in we dry out after that and the weather actually looks decent for Saturday and Sunday with sunshine and temperatures returning to the low to mid 50s.